Guess who's in the news again? It's Jessica Alba's Honest Company, and they landed in hot water this month when the company that says it's honestly free of sodium lauryl sulfate tested positive for <laughs> sodium lauryl sulfate in their laundry detergent. How does a company that swears it uses a safer, milder, and more natural alternative called sodium cocoa sulfate end up with SLS in their laundry detergent? It all has to do with a little bit of chemistry. Let's talk about what's going on here. Sodium lauryl sulfate can come from coconut, palm, or petroleum oil. Anna says their detergent always comes from coconut, so let's roll with that. Coconut oil is extracted from the flesh of the dried fruit. This oil contains molecules called fatty acids. For sodium lauryl sulfate, raw ingredient suppliers will extract lauric acid. Lauric acid is converted to lauryl alcohol, reacted with sulfuric acid, and neutralized with sodium carbonate to get bada bing bada boom, sodium lauryl sulfate. Now sodium cocoa sulfate goes through the same process, but instead of extracting just lauric acid, it uses the entire mix of fatty acids that are present in coconut oil. What this means is you'll still get a high percentage of sodium lauryl sulfate mixed in with other sulfates like these. But instead of putting all those sulfates on an already long label, cosmetic manufacturers agreed to just call it sodium cocoa sulfate instead. Whew. Is it gentler? Yes, but not by much. Remember, sodium cocoa sulfate is still a mix that includes 60% sodium lauryl sulfate, along with other sulfates that are more or less irritating. So, it's not a bad thing, but if you're sensitive to SLS, it might not help much, and you may have other concerns, like the SLS in your toothpaste. 